This God of War game is definitely a fresh start for the team. Everything about this game has been new from the get-go. So we got you know, a new camera perspective, we got a new narrative, we got Atreus, a new mythology, and we knew we had to change the weapon as well. We had to, had to bring something new to the table. The blades are extremely iconic. Everybody expects this, everybody knows this. There's not a lot you can do new with it without going super extreme. Right? So to make a nice big change, I think will have a, a greater weight, a greater impact. Corey, with his original pitch for the new God of War game, he always pictured him with this ax. That's really the only note we had is, like, okay, he's gonna have an ax. And basically with that, we had to decide, well, what can be special about this ax? And as we previewed animations and did a lot of tests, like the, there was always this animation of Kratos throwing the ax that seemed like it'd be cool, but it'd be like, well, he's gonna throw his weapon away. Like, what use is that gonna be? It's just gonna be gone, you're gonna have to go pick it up. Until, you know, one of our designers, Vincent Napoli, came up with the idea, well, what if he called it back? So we prototyped that, we had him throw the ax out, you know, um, call it back, and immediately kind of worked very well with the camera perspective, how to deal with enemies, pinpointing targets on them, tripping them again, and aim for the leg. So all the ideas kind of started to spearhead themselves right after that decision was made. That ax you got, you got a handler special. Brock and Sindri, the two uh, dwarven blacksmiths that you meet throughout the game, are able to modify the axe, sort of size of the axe head, as well as the handles. Each of these, these sort of additions adds access to different skills, different moves. Early on when we first started designing, we almost look at it as a car that you're upgrading it. So all the parts come out and you can swap and, and add on different things, the specials. Traditionally, in the previous games, these would be like your L1 specials, right? Like the, the special moves that you're able to do, you're able to actually mix and match. So you can say, I really like this move, I want to put that move in. As you collect different ones, you can say, I really like this one, this is the only one I want to use, or, ooh, no, now I'm going to swap this out. So one attack might just be a giant frost wave that doesn't do a lot of damage, but it does slow them down and make them easier to fight. Another one might have Kratos just spinning rapidly with his axe, um, very close range, multi-hit, high damage depending on if you like being up close to enemies or far range, basically there's a runic attack for you. For the players.